Days of our lives spoilers for Monday, November 1st. Kristen's new scheme to win Brady back. In true Salem fashion, Kristen's schemes show no sign of slowing down. After her desperate attempt to free Brady from prison by blackmailing Xander and Sarah fell apart, Kristen has a new strategy. She's convinced that if she can wrest control of Titan from Xander, she'll have the leverage she needs. Her ultimate plan? To go to work alongside Brady, certain that proximity will reignite the spark between them and pave the way for a reunion with their son. But Xander has his own set of problems. His wife, Sarah, is paralyzed, and he's on a desperate mission to find a cure. His anxiety is so overwhelming that he's willing to hand over Titan to Kristen, if it means saving Sarah. Enter Philip, who's determined not to let Xander give up the family business without a fight. Tensions are running high as Sarah, caught in the middle of Xander's struggles, is growing more agitated. Her frustrations bubble over as she clashes with Fiona, leading to some cathartic, albeit heated, exchanges. Will Xander make the deal with the devil, or will Philip manage to stop him in time? Just as Holly and Tate make their exit, Salem sees a fresh wave of teenage drama hit the streets. A new face in town has arrived, and it's causing quite a stir among the local teens. Speculation is rampant. Are we looking at a classic love triangle or something even more tangled? With the recent arrival of Sophia, all bets are off. Her quick bond with Salem's newest teenager has raised eyebrows, and it seems she's not the only one vying for attention. But that's not all. Aaron has been spending more time around town, and his chemistry with Sophia isn't going unnoticed. This has sparked curiosity. Could we be in for a love quadrangle? And what about Felicity? The enigmatic newcomer has been a wild card ever since she arrived. It's clear she's not just a bystander. She's got her own motives and secrets. It's only a matter of time before we see which teen alliances hold strong and which ones crumble. Hold on to your hat, Salem. Vivian Alamein is back, and she's as wild as ever. The eccentric mother, who has a habit of discovering children she never knew she had, has strong opinions about her son, Stefan's latest love life disaster. And Vivian has never been one to keep those opinions to herself. Rumors of Stefan considering a reconciliation with Gabi have reached Vivian's ears, and she's ready to do whatever it takes to make sure it doesn't happen. For years, Vivian has harbored the desire to be the only woman who matters in her son's life. Her disdain for Gabi is legendary, and it extends to her opinions on Jake as well. So when she gets wind that Stefan, who cheated on Gabi only to be cheated on in return, might be having second thoughts about their breakup, Vivian steps in with all the subtlety of a freight train. She's convinced that if she can keep them apart long enough, Stefan will finally move on. But in typical Vivian fashion, her meddling may have unintended consequences that could blow up in her face. Meanwhile, Gabi finds herself missing Stefan more than she expected, though she's momentarily distracted by a visit from her and Rafe's cousin, Javi. His arrival is a welcome distraction, bringing a slice of home and a dose of mischief. Javi's presence might be just the thing to pull Gabi out of her Stefan-induced melancholy, or it could stir up even more trouble. In Salem, nothing is ever simple, and Gabi's reunion with her cousin is likely to bring its own surprises. As Vivian plots and schemes, Salem is bracing itself for another whirlwind of drama, heartbreak, and unexpected alliances. And for the citizens caught in the crossfire, there's no telling what will come next. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.